I just want y'all to know. If you see me outside this summer and you fuck with me, okay? And you don't tell me that my ass looks good. And this is for the girls. Sis. So yeah. <laughs> but right now, I just wanted to talk about this plan B that I feel like a lot of people plan for, <laughs> to be honest. I feel like a lot of people, like most people, we have a dream. We have something that we want to do. And when somebody asks us the question, like, if you could do anything and nothing mattered, what would you do? How would you spend your time? And most of us will be like, do, 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 do. But I feel like even after we say like what we want to do and our dreams and everything, some people are like, well, what's your plan B if that doesn't work out? Hang up on you. Not in the mood. Okay. So I just want to say that it's not so much that we have to have a plan B. Because if you really want something and you don't give up on it, there's not going to be a plan B. You're going to get there. Okay? Like Mana Leo said, whether you take a plane, a bus, a car, you walk, you're going to get there. Okay? So, I just want to say that, like, I feel like we should look as a plan B as more to, like, just life. You know, we have a plan, and in our heads, we try to think of the most logical plan to get there and... You know, sometimes life don't want you to get there that way. <laughs> you know, sometimes life is like, okay, you're not going over there. You need to come over here because you're going to find something over here that's going to help you when you go over there. And some of us, we could be so stubborn that like if we have a lot of detours or if um, life redirects us a lot, we're just like, maybe I'm not meant for this or maybe I'm just not meant for my dream. And it's not, we don't even realize that like, or we don't even tell ourselves, like, maybe this is just life redirecting me. So when I get there, honey, you know, life won't be 10 out of 10. You know, some people try to get to places so fast and then they get there and then it's just like, you know, they're sitting in an empty room and they're just thinking to themselves, like, okay, I'm here now. What, you know, now what? Versus the process and our journeys, honey, that's where all of the ingredients are, you know what I'm saying? That's where the flour, the baking soda, oh, you might add some more salt. You know, um, I had met this woman last year and she was telling me how a lot of times we can get so caught up in looking in like other people's soup and think about our lives as like a pot of soup and we could look at somebody else's life and be like oh but i want that that's in your soup not even realizing that's their soup not everybody don't want that soup i don't you know but sometimes we try to make ourselves force ourselves or feed ourselves things that these people are and when i say feed i don't mean uh literally i just mean we try to live other people's lives or we try to compare and we try to like oh where they're they're doing that let me just add that let me just do that let me just do 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 next thing you know our soup is something that we don't even like and then our soup is something that we put away for months that we don't even want to touch no more versus when you actually take your time build your soup try different things try different seasonings a little bit of this oh no a little bit more da, 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 da. your soup you're going to want to eat it every day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's so much that like we need a plan B. Now, there's a difference between like shifting. Like say you wanted to be something. Now, as time has gone on and as you have tried things and stuff, you might not like it no more. And now you're like, you know what? I actually want to do this. And now I want to shift and try this. And that's okay. You know, but that's still life. That's not that's still not like a plan B to me. It's just like a, you tried it, you didn't like it, and now you're focused on this. And especially from kids, we change, we grow, we go through things. And honestly, that's the point of life. Like we all have somewhere that we want to get, whether we know it or not. And we can get there and we have the help of this amazing universe and like um, magic and everything like that. So we will get there. And you don't need a plan B. And everybody's just like, but what if that doesn't work out? You know, it doesn't work out for a lot of people. 
It doesn't work out for a lot of people because a lot of people try to get to places by being the same person. So, of course, it's not going to work out. You're trying to get here and your personality and habits is down here. How are you going to get here? And you're not even making strides to go up there. And a lot of people don't realize that either. That a lot of times the things that we want, we can have them. It's just we have to change, okay? Okay. We have to change. We have to change our habits. We have to see what's unhealthy for us. We have to change how we talk to ourselves. We have to change how we do things. We have to change everything that we kind of known at one time and question everything to see if it really aligns with us, you know? So, yeah. That's really all I had to say. Um, please know you don't need a plan B, honey. That plan A, you go and get that, okay? You shift, just keep flowing, you might change, you might go here, you might go there, that's fine. You know, even little things such as, maybe you wanted to live in like Colorado or something, like I did. And then now it's like, you know what, I think I'm going to just vacation there. <laughs> and I'm going to go live somewhere else. Because, you know, like things like that, things change and that's okay. I feel like sometimes we have a dream and we just hold on to it and we hold on to every detail that we made up in our head and that we've imagined and that we thought was the way to get there. And we hold on to it so much, not realizing that if you just let it go, just breathe and just surrender, honey, and just keep that end destination in mind, you're still going to get there. And a lot of times um the universe god you whatever you believe in is they you know sometimes you it protects us from a lot of things and you know even little things such as le leaving the house like um 10 minutes later or we think we're running late and it's like no if you would have left at that time you would have maybe been up in an accident that would that you just now see 10 minutes later you know what i'm saying so Sometimes the universe protects us from things, and sometimes the universe just tells us that's not you. And sometimes, like I said, we hold on to things so bad that it's like, but I want it, like, and that is me, and da da da. And the universe, is like, it's not though. It's not, honey. So, and it's okay. Come over here, so I can help you and get you to where you need to be. Because sometimes the universe and nature does know better than us, one hundred percent. So yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that we should just look, like, our plan B should just be, like, you know, you're not going to get there the way that you planned, and every step is not going to be the way that you planned, and, you know, who knows, for real, for real, we cannot predict the future, hey? So, yeah, let's look at plan B just as the universe redirecting us and the universe just bringing us where we need to be, just not in an ideal way that we thought. And as humans, some of us, we think we're so superior and we're so up here and high. Some of us have our egos, like we're so blinded by our egos that we can't even open up and be like, okay, well, let me go this way. You know, let me go where I'm feeling um, drawn towards and pulled towards and let me see what happens when I go this way or... You know, and you hear it all the time, even from artists where they're like, I didn't want to release that song, but then I released it and it became my biggest song. Something told me to release it, even though I didn't really like it or I wasn't fucking with it. But apparently everybody else is like, you really just never know what universe your God or what you believe in really has planned for you because they can work magic in ways that we can't and they can help us in ways that we can't. Or that we um, sometimes, you know, like I said, we don't think that big. Or, like, as humans, we've evolved to, like, not thinking we're godly-like for some reason. So, yeah. Things happen, though. Hey, we're going to get back to it, okay? That's what's important. So, yeah, if you have a plan A, you have a dream, keep going towards it. Keep taking those steps. It might not go every single way that you planned. You might be doing things you never thought you was going to be doing or back at, da-da-da. It's okay. Um, you don't need a plan B. Let's stop asking people what's their plan B unless they have a plan B. Some people do have multiple dreams and things that they want to do, you know, and they don't mind that. But let's just, I don't know. I just don't like the whole like, what's your plan B if that don't work out? It's not about having a plan B if that don't work out. It's just about going with the flow when things aren't going with your plan. Because that's what you're really asking me. What happens in two years when I'm not where I'm where I want to be and I'm not making hella money and I need to da 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 Shh. Silence. Okay? 
So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, comment, let me know what else y'all want to see. Let me know ways that you've... I don't know, let me know if you have like a plan A, a plan B, or if your plan B worked out better than a plan A, or if you think the same thing as in we don't really need a plan B, or like a plan B is very... You know, y'all, I ain't gonna say man, but human humans are very, very different. But yeah, let me know um, what you guys think of like a plan B. Do y'all think we should have plan Bs? Do y'all think like me where it's just that the universe is just gonna be directing you here, 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 here? And that's just life. Um, yeah, let me know. I hope you guys, it's almost April. I hope you guys have a safe, fun Easter. If you celebrate, please um if you are going on spring break and stuff please be safe and i mean even if you ain't boo even if you in the house like me be safe okay uh what does that one say thank y'all for liking thank y'all for subscribing and thank you so so much for being here i enjoy i enjoy y'all so yeah <laughs>